Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how we can make concentrated solutions of ethanol. Now when we produce our ethanol from fermentation of glucose, we get a solution of ethanol and water. The problem with that is that once the concentration goes above 15%, the yeast gets killed, meaning you can't produce any more ethanol from your sugars. So how do we get above 15%? The answer is distillation, which hopefully you have heard of before. Now there are two types of distillation, simple distillation and fractional distillation, so let's have a look at both. To carry out simple distillation, firstly you need to get your solution and put it into a round bottom flask in the following distillation setup. You then want to heat your solution to 78 degrees C. Now that is the boiling point of ethanol. Water has a boiling point of 100 degrees and ethanol has a boiling point of 78. This means that when you heat the solution to 78 degrees, the ethanol will evaporate first. So when at the top of the column here reaches 78 degrees, the ethanol will have evaporated and can move into the condenser. The condenser is then surrounded by cold water, and when it surrounds the ethanol, it cools it down so that it condenses or turns back into a liquid. This allows you to get up to 100% ethanol, provided you keep below 100 degrees C, so that the water does not move into the condenser. However, that's rather difficult to do. The reason that that's a problem is that the boiling points of water and ethanol are very similar, so it can be very difficult to obtain exact concentrations. So there is one more accurate way of producing ethanol, and that is fractional distillation. And the only thing that's different here is you have a fractionating column, as you can see here, and this allows you to get a temperature gradient. Temperature gradient is where it's hotter at the bottom, cooler at the top, and only when the top of the fractionating column reaches 78 degrees will the ethanol move into the condenser and turn back into ethanol, into your liquid. Even if some of the water evaporates, it will not get to the top of the fractionating column as it will condense back down before it gets there, making this a much more accurate method than simple distillation. And that's everything you need to know from this video. So let's see what the examiner can ask you. I've got three questions. So pause your video, have a go, and we'll see how you've done in a minute. Right, let's go through. Question one, why can't we make concentrated solution of ethanol using fermentation? So this one, you get one mark for saying the yeast is killed, and the second mark for saying when it gets above about 15%, or when you get up to higher concentrations. Question two, how can we use simple distillation to make a concentrated solution of ethanol? So this is three marks. You get one mark for saying heat the solution. The second mark is for saying that you want to heat it until the temperature is 78 degrees or to the lowest boiling point. And then the third mark is for saying the ethanol will move into the condenser and turn back into a liquid. Question three. How could you adapt the simple distillation apparatus to more accurately obtain a high concentration of ethanol? So your first mark here is for the technique, which is fractional distillation. You've then got to go into how to use fractional distillation. So your second mark is for saying a temperature gradient will form, and then once the top of the column reaches the lowest boiling point, 78 degrees, ethanol will move into the condenser. That's your third mark, which leaves behind the water. And that's it for this video. Feel free to have a look at this review question and have a go. I'll put the answer in the description down below, so let me know how you've got on. Hi guys, hopefully you found the video useful. If you did, please click on like and please subscribe to my channel. If you've already done that, please share with your friends, share with your teachers, any way that's going to help me. I've also got a website with loads of videos that can help you, and there's also my latest video appearing on the screen now. Thanks for watching.